already have asked about Italian Christmas. What do we do when we are here? How do we spend it? And as you can see, there are like two big pots full of, it's about 10 liters of chicken broth. You had it, 10 liters. That is all for tortellini. So we, it's a tradition in Tinari family that we have tortellini filled with beef and serve it with chicken stock. And in the oven here, there's my famous duck that you have seen on Lempis food. I'm preparing that for this Christmas. Amazing. And here I'm going to make up the gravy that you have also seen on Lempis food. And Mama is making chicken salad that we serve with homemade mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And of course there is already focaccia, freshly made focaccia that Mama has prepared and we are going to bake it in the oven in the oven mm -hmm. but not like in the traditional oven where we use food mm -hmm. and in this pot here is another special treat which is chicken liver pate we serve that with the uh, fresh focaccia mm -hmm. and of course to that we add the famous always a strong italian tradition my goodness what is that Remove, remove the clothes, otherwise I cannot... Ooh, prosciutto! It's like a nice... This is a Spanish version, but we like the Spanish version because it's softer than the Italian one, so we always have the Spanish version in this family. Amazing! And I'm going to take you to the table where I'll prepare my cake. I've showed you already all the several things that you're going to eat for Christmas and I'm going to show you the dessert, what do we eat after all those savory. Remember here is the cake that I've prepared if you've been following Glenpy's food and I wrapped it up like three weeks ago and brushed it with rum once every week. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it and serve it. Look at how beautiful and rich brown color has that developed. Absolutely amazing. And it's also smelling heavenly. I'll go ahead and also remove this thin layer. I don't want anybody eating it. And serve it in this beautiful white bowl. Now that I've unwrapped it, and I do this seriously just a few hours before we serve it. I'm going to go ahead and decorate it and it's very simple. I use some pine leaves, these are not edible but they add a beautiful color to the whole dish. So I just go ahead and do this. And I take a normal chocolate, your favorite chocolate, whatever you like. I have here uh, just a normal dark like 70% of chocolate. Take a small piece of that. And then just add some some chocolate flakes. This is not a tradition, but it's like a lumpy starch. That's how I like to serve it. I just like to add a little bit of color. Or if you don't want to use chocolate, feel free to use um, powdered sugar. It also really add a nice color, and you can make the stars and all those things. But I prefer using this just brush it with some chocolate. And then if you have like a red star or anything red that you can just put it as a ribbon on top of the cake before you serve it. So apart from the cake, we have also a typical Italian traditional bread that people eat around Christmas time. So panettone, we serve this with tea or a cup of coffee. Or a pandora is very similar to panettone but without the dry fruits. Then we have some Africano or Torone Africano. It's basically chocolate with the best quality of hazelnuts. And we have it here in the milk chocolate form and also the one with um, dark chocolate and the white version, which I think is made from egg whites and then filled with uh, almonds, hazelnuts, and pistachio. So that's about it for the dessert. And then I'm gonna move downstairs and show you how we prepare the table. I forgot to show you something. We have also some liquor. Come with me, come with me. We also have a small corner here, which is important 
after the Christmas lunch, we have some typical Italian liquor like limoncello. Mama Flomi made this herself at home. And we have here Amaro di Roma. It's also like a bitter, a digestive that people would like to drink after, after eating something. And we have rum, very good quality rum that is Alice and Alice Father's favorite. Ciao and welcome to our Christmas. Let me take you first to our antipasti. For the antipasti we have here prosciutto and this we're just going to cut it and serve it with fresh homemade pizza which is called focaccia. And for the focaccia we're going to bake it directly in the oven and serve it as soon as we get, out, we get it out of the oven. And apart from that, then we have of course some wine, some sweets, and a whole lot of different savory dishes. Come with me, let me show you what's on the table. So we have something traditional, which is homemade bread, and we serve with that um, homemade pate from chicken liver and some veggie, and then we have homemade mayonnaise, which you use for chicken salad, red wine, white wine, some water, and some beautiful dishes and service that mama has prepared. We also have parmigiano. Like this, there's no meal in Italy that you serve without parmigiano. So we have some parmigiano here for tortellini. We have here traditional oven and here we are going to make our focaccia right away. For this Christmas we are expecting nine people and yeah, that's about it. Let's have fun! This is an Italian Eve Christmas. Amazing. And I'm wearing some take you take out you know and it's just fully just Lempi's way of spending Christmas. This is how we spend Christmas in Italy. If you enjoy watching this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on how you spend Christmas with your family. Merry Christmas to you guys.